All right, guys, there's a lot of debate as to whether or not you should have an open trailer or an enclosed trailer. Both have pros and cons. Flatbed's a whole different ball game. But I will say this, here in Florida, it rains every day in the summertime. Well, you know, it rains a lot. And when you get stuck in a rainstorm, one of the greatest things about having an enclosed trailer is you've got change of clothes that you can get into. You've got a place where you can take a pee pee and you can get out of the lightning. Now you can jump in your truck, but you're soaking wet. My truck is my daily driver. So I don't want to get my truck. I keep my truck immaculate, keep it really nice inside. And uh, you know, when we work out here, we get dirty. So um, the great debate is open or enclosed. And because I have this enclosed, I've got myself a cooler, whatever you need in there. There's all kinds of goodies. I've got my coffee. I've got a chair. I've got a place to hang all of my guns, wands, you know, your lances, your chemicals. That's full of chemicals inside there. That's all spare parts in there. Um, you know, everything is dry and out of the elements. And that's what I like. When you've got an open, tra open trailer, your stuff's exposed. Now, I do like an open trailer because you can just pull your hoses and go. Um, but if you don't have a garage or a place to park it, it can be a problem. Let's go take a look at this paver pool deck I just finished, guys. This is a, uh, a restoration project that we're working on. Also, when you have an enclosed trailer, you've got advertising rolling down the road. You know what I mean, guys? So as you're rolling down the road, now the back of the truck, we're just about to wrap that back window. We're gonna do that on Thursday um, because that's my daily driver and I want to be able to advertise while I'm picking the kids up from school or getting something at Lowe's or going out to eat with my wife, whatever it is. So we're gonna turn you around and um, you know, I've been able to keep this machine really nice. And the reason, by, reason why is because I keep it out of the rain. Otherwise, it'd be a rust bucket sitting outside. And that's why it's so nice. Now, obviously it's raining right now and we work in the rain, you know? But take a look at this paver pool deck. Now, keep in mind, it's wet. Um, it does have a sealer on it. It's a really nice sealer. So, uh, but look at all your joints and seams. This thing is pristine, guys, all the way around, underneath the furniture, all the way through the corners, you name it, behind stuff. Look, we'll go behind stuff. What do you got back there? Oh, a whole lot of nothing. Everything is just really clean. Um, had bird poops all in here, really nasty under there. And that's why I showed you guys that reducer because, let me shut this water off so we're not wasting this homeowner's water. We just want to be mindful. So um, that DN10 reducer allows you to swivel and twist and get underneath things. So I brought you out here because I wanted to take a look at these pavers. Obviously, you guys are in the business. You know they're soaking wet. So the real question is, what do they look like when they're dry? But what I'm trying to point out to you right now is all the joints and seams that have been cleaned that are spotless all the way up to the doors, you name it, corners, all around the place. So that is the pool deck and this is the video. We also did, you know, anything that he's got out here. That was all black and disgusting. We did all the way back, you know, to the pumps there. Um, this area over here was just full of sand and debris. Um, and, uh, you can see it now, just totally clean, man. TNT pressure cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. I treat every property as if it were my own. I don't leave until the job's done right. I book one job a day, guys. I don't do two and three jobs because I make stuff look like this. Did the thing outside, the little wooden deck outside. But this is what I wanted to show you. Um, we did have some birds living in here and they've taken off. So you kind of got the basic gist. I mean, we've got, look, that's burn through right there. So you've got heavily, heavy oxidation and then you have aluminum showing. Um, this pool case is in bad shape. Check that out. Oh, let's get focus. 
Can we get focused? I don't know. But so anyway, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna shoot the whole entire cage from the outside to the inside. Um, and it's got some height on it, but check those beams out. Look at that, guys. Is that nasty or what? So we're gonna shoot that next. This particular customer, um, let me wipe that off. This particular customer, uh, we are on a, um, a contract. And so every month or so I come over and I find something to do at one of his many properties, whether it be an office building or whatever it is. Um, this home is being sold. And so uh, we're getting it prepped for sale. Um, and so, you know, I can come over, work a couple hours, whatever it is. And um, he's a really, really great person. I'm really grateful to have him. He's helped me uh, throughout the years uh, be able to purchase equipment that I would, wouldn't otherwise be able to have afforded. Um, and uh, so customers like this, I treat with great care, pride and respect. And, and um, you know, like I said, we're gonna blast all these leaves out of here. We're gonna get all those leaves out of there. Um, we've got some gutters to clean. Check this out. Look at that gutter at the top there. You see that tree growing through there? I don't know if you can see it through the screen, but right there, there's a little baby pine growing out of the gutter. Um, if I spin you around here, you can see above this uh, house here, all of that, all those are leaves. That's all leaves that are trapped behind there. So next month, we're gonna jump up there, clean all those leaves out, get those downspouts functioning properly. We're gonna jump up and shoot all these beams here, get those all pretty and uh, shoot the exterior part of the cage. Uh, but today's job was just to get this all lined out, you know? Joints and seams spotlessly cleaned. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.